Okay, thank you very much. Welcome back. This uh, session, we're going to be talking about modules in Drupal 9 that are quite key and you need for your development. So we'll be looking at some of them and um, quite a number of them which you can install. When you look at module, you look at uh, extended functionality of Drupal that has been done by others and also contributed um, contributed by others. So we will look at some of them and uh, if you if you if if you do um, WordPress, you should understand when they say plugins. So plugins are quite related to module in Drupal. So Drupal own is a module why in WordPress you have it as plugins. So we'll just look at some of them that we we'll need here. And uh, so the first one we'll be looking at here is called admin toolbar. This doesn't really add any functionality to the front end of your site. It's majorly from the admin aspect. And it tends to improve the toolbar, the default toolbar for uh, Drupal 9 and 8 and the likes. And it also works at the top of the toolbar and therefore lightens up most of the functionalities. If you check here, you can see where we have content, structure, appearance, extends, then configuration. Under configuration, you can see it just drop down. But normally, you will just have to click on content, then you get to see all the menu under it and it likes. This helps your development to be fast, so you can easily go straight to whatever um, session you want to visit in the admin aspect. So the link to installing is here. The installation link is here. What we'll do is that we're going to install all these plugins. We'll download them and then install them. The next we'll be looking at here will be what is called the token. The token uh, for development. So if you're developing a, a Drupal core, if you're developing Drupal modules or team and the likes, you want to call in some of the functionalities that already exist in Drupal and you can use token to do that. Such as the name, the login URL, the email, the slogan, all these already exist. So you can just pick those tokens and then you call them up from um, this and also note that this token uh, is quite a required module for other modules such as the uh, Path Auto, Google Analytics and the likes. You will need it for it. So it's always good to install it upfront before uh, doing all that. The next we'll be looking at, which is the third one, is going to be um, C2s. I call it C2s. This contains modules known as page managers that manages panel pages and also goes it manages more than just panels. The C2 makes it easy for form to deal with edges and the likes. This is also another dependent uh, dependency module for Trooper. Some of this um, experience, other APIs and also modules would depend on these C2s to work. So it's good to just have it done. Then we have the dev devair or how you pronounce it. So that's the fourth one and it allows execution of PHP code inside the Drupal front-end application or website and also create a dummy content like VARDOMP in PHP. So if you're using PHP and you know of VARDOMP or you're using Laravel and you know of um, DIDOMP and the likes, this is just one of it. So it helps you to get some of the variables that are running behind the scene. You get to see it. So you just dump it while you're developing your a module or you're developing your team this is very important and the bundle also concern helper functions for pages and also it helps to inspect variables debug sql queries and the likes so it's very 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 important i use this a lot and we're going to use it too so the next we're looking at here is a uh, part or two majorly if you're looking for clean url which is a um, seo url Search engine optimization URL, 
uh this is the way to go you need to install it up front you need to install it before you start your development because uh, you don't want to more like deploy your application or your website and then after it has been indexed by google with a different link then you start installing your path auto which will not be good so it is always good to install this uh before deployment so this majorly it will help it to take the nodes the taxonomy terms users and then it will convert it into a friendly url and a clean url so we have that we have the uh, part here you can just install and download and install the next we'll be looking at here is paragraph very important um assist one very important paragraph is a new way for content creation it allows you to make different cleaner things cleaner so that you can give more editing power to your end users so with paragraph you can do a lot of things i'll show you some of the things you can do with paragraph you can create uh, content that has layers so let's say you want to do banner you can create a banner and then when you click on add new it continues to add a lot of them and we're going to use it throughout this course where we create content and then call that content through the Drupal uh, back end and the team and it is being displayed at the front end that's a powerful way to work and instead of putting all the content in one body feed uh, including images and videos and the likes you can just split it so the end user the person managing the site can it's easier for the person to understand and so if we are so as we go across through this um this course we're going to see a lot of this i um i'll advise you to continue with us and then learn a lot about the paragraph uh, module and next we're going to look at so you have the link here already you can just get it and then um install it next we're going to look which is number seven we're going to look at the redirect module majorly this module provide interesting functions like allowing you to create redirect manually and maintaining a what colonial URL for all kind of content that redirects to other requests to the path so this model provides a common API for loading, deleting, and saving redirect. It also provides case-sensitive redirect matching of hook and also for the model and decreasing candidates redirect. So what we're saying here is that major is for redirect and also for the URL. So when you're doing SEO aspect, you know what the uh, colonial URL is. So instead of saying uh, this URL is A, you can point that this the main url is actually b to uh, search engine and the likes so this this is also very important and it gets you keep track of all the redirects and then you can always point them to s where the next we'll be looking at is what tweak 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 so is it this sounds like a tongue twister so uh is a small model which provides a tweak extension that uh, with some useful functionalities to filter that can improve development experience so we'll be using this a lot um what we're calling a view so if you're calling a view you can just use this straight up or you want to call a results you want to call a block and the likes you can use this to straight up um, get it into your front end so this module is very important we're going to download it and have it and you can see some of the example here for view for view results you can see them here and this block and the like so we're going to do all this throughout this course and you get to understand it better the next we'll be looking at here is going to be web form very important web form uh, module allows you to build any type of form to collect types of data which can be what submitted to any application assistant so we're going to be using web form a lot and we're going to see how you can add other uh, part of web form which is you download to excel you get your web form um, graphs for your web form 
you get um, some kind of chart for your web form too. We're going to look at that on web form and also how you can customize your web form. So let's say you have a web form that you've done and you know normally the web form so like we said you know your normal drupal uh, web form the web form you have the the design the look and feel the, it's quite some um, somehow so you see how you can customize that make it friendly make it um, look beautiful and the likes for web form we'll do that too uh, the next part we're going to look at here is going to be uh, cloud so majorly this is not um this is not a module it's more of a team but it's related to the recent team for Drupal 9 and the like. So Cloud is a clean and accessible administrative team that is part of the admin UI and also JavaScript modification and the likes. Features like new color scheme, higher contrast, touch screen readiness and the likes. So you have a lot that this uh, team, admin team is going to offer us and we're going to use it too in the course of this uh, uh in in the in this course so next we'll look at is backup and migration very important you need to have this when you are doing any of your application and the backup and migration restores uh for drupal mysql code and the likes so you can do your backup you can migrate and also allows you to decide which table to back up so I've used this severally and also if you want to do the backup you can decide where you should push it to do you want to push it to um, do you want to push it to Dropbox or the likes so we're going to use that too so you get to learn how you can automatically back up your site and also send it to external drive yeah so this is the uh, URL for it the next we'll be looking at here will be admin advanced CSS slash JavaScript JS uh, aggregation. So um, this majorly improves the front end performance of your website. That's majorly what it does. Front end performance of your website. Your website might be very slow and the likes because it's calling a lot of uh, scripts that are doing same thing. So you have redundancy and the likes in your script, but with this, it will going to reduce that aspect. So for um, stability, if the if the aggregate doesn't exist in the aggregated demand, also you have for backend, so you render cache, cache generation in HTML and the likes, this will do it. And when you are doing your migration, when you're moving your site, this will also help you to uh, more like aggregate your CSS and so when we are moving to live server to our uh, live, uh, production, you're going to see the functionality of this. The so next we have, which is 13, we have div shared and also security kits. So the, the div is a module that adds a tab for what sufficiency permission user. So the, the tabs shows all revision and standard Drupal. So what, what this is talking about is for the deleted, those changed, added, and likes, you can see uh, more like your history on it with the diff, more like difference of what you've done. So it is very important you have this uh, module on your Drupal site. Also, the next we'll look here is Shade, which this model helps you to protect your dev sites with HTTP authentication. More like you having to um get users that are it, like a sheet majorly that's what it does for your site and it does a lot of other functionality which we're going to look into when we start this um, um, development the next one is security kit which provides uh with various uh, security handling uh, options this lets you migrate the risks of exploitation of different web application uh, vulnerabilities so this is part of it too and it's, it's very good for your security aspect for uh, Drupal 9. So the next we'll look at which is 16 is a uh, environmental indicator. Very, very important. If you've ever uh, done some application that you will be updating live 
think you're dating dev and that is really really risky so with this uh, environmental indicator you can actually indicate what uh, session of the website you are in so with the environmental indicator module it becomes easy to work with stage uh, dev local and then production this model help you to avoid making configuration uh, changes to your live server by mistake or by adding a color strip to the side of your site clearly making each version of the site visible so it's evident that this is what you are working on so whenever you log in as admin this is not going to be visible to uh, uh, front end users it's majorly admin so as you get in it tells you oh, this is your on this you're on, on this then lastly we have our configuration split this model allows you to define sets of configuration that we get exploit, uh, exported to separate directly when exporting and when get merged when importing so majorly it does the connection split so when you have your split when you have it on your own environment if you should export the person can also use this our own configuration um, in it so it is possible to define this in actually in settings.php in uh, Drupal in your Drupal team but um, which is active and when you're doing your export and import it is very important you have your configuration split we're going to use this tool in the course of um, our, our lecture so thank you very much um, the next part we're going to be looking at so you've understood uh, the the modules that we need and I'll say you should get it downloaded where we start the installation and also activating them. Thank you very much. Um, I'm Kingsley Chukwemeka.